I'm Professor Daniel Gross from the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science. Uh, most people know John Nash from the movie of Beautiful Mind, and they know his work in uh, Game Theory, for which he won the uh, Nobel Prize. I'd just like to talk a little bit about his other accomplishments in mathematics. John was not a prolific uh, mathematician. The main reason was he worked on very hard problems. And he also had a 20 year gap where he was hospitalized. Okay, I'd just like to just talk about two of his very important contributions. He developed something that is known as the Nash embedding theorem. Now it's complicated for non-mathematicians. It's probably even a little complicated for mathematicians. But what he found was that every Riemannian manifold can be isometrically embedded into a Euclidean space. Now you can think of a Riemannian manifold as like a sphere. And you can think of a Euclidean space as like the plane, except that he's talking about a higher dimension, but it's something like a plane. To be isometrically embedded means that it preserves distances. And of course, distance on a uh, sphere is going around a curve, but distance in Euclidean space is a straight line. He had two theorems on this topic. His first theorem turned out to be a very simple proof, but it was intuitively, the results of this theorem or applications of this theorem were not intuitive, okay, very difficult. His second form of the theorem turned out to be a very technical proof, but it was not surprising, uh, the results that you can get from the theorem. The second major accomplishment that he had was work on elliptical partial differential equations. Those are types of e equations that are used to explain things like how heat passes through solids. He did some very significant work on this. Unfortunately, he found out that independently, an Italian had uh, previously, maybe months earlier, also solved the same problem, even though both of them had used different methods. Most people thought that if he or the other person had independently solved this, they would have won the Fails Medal. Now what the Fails Medal is, is a uh, award given out every four years, which to a mathematician is the equivalent of a Nobel Prize, because there is no Nobel Prize in mathematics. People thought that he would have won it that year, except that the problem with the other uh, participant. Most people also thought that uh, four years from then, he would have then again, once again, been eligible and, and won the Fields Medal, uh, except that between the 1958 and 1962 is when he had his breakdown. Those are just two of his, of his very important accomplishments, and there are, are many more. 